This is Duke University. This is a really exciting opportunity that we have this new dog lab here at Duke because uh, we're going to be able to invite people to bring their pet dogs from all around the community. And of course, undergraduates can come here and right on campus, they'll be able to do some real science and some real experiments to try to figure it out. What's actually going on in the mind of a dog when you're uh, interacting with it? We have this wonderful laboratory now where we have uh, uh, cameras and we have uh, microphone equipment where we can really record in great detail uh, what dogs are doing when they're interacting with people and how it is really that they solve social problems that make them very special uh, in all of nature and being so good at uh, living with humans. For instance, if there's food that you hide from them and they know that it's hidden but they don't know where, how well do they understand your gestures if you try to help them find it? that food. Just like children, as they're growing up, have to learn how to interact with adults, well, dogs face the same exact problem. So we want to understand how much is it that dogs are like small children when they're trying to figure out what we want and what we don't want, and do they really come to sort of the same solutions that small children do? And do they think about their world the way that small children do? And if they don't, how is it that they're different? Produced by Duke University, online at duke.edu.